No justice for a victim who was brutally assaulted. This after charges against the suspect were dismissed. Now the victim, Tim Rufflin, is asking, how is this even possible? For every crime, there's a story and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Craig Jensen was charged with assault and there were numerous witnesses to this crime, but it was suddenly dismissed without the victim's knowledge. Well, I approached and I told him, Craig, you need to leave and he was yelling obscenities. According to Tim Rufflin, Craig Jensen is his brother-in-law who showed up at the Rufflin home in Cottonwood Heights looking for trouble. He cold cocked me right in the face the second after I got done saying, we know you're verbally and physically abusive to my sister. I was standing there and he ran in my face, did I you see that? Him. Seconds after Rufflin was hit in the head, he fell to the ground. Rufflin claimed he was having a seizure, later a concussion from the blows. I'm now mostly blind in my left eye as a direct result of this. Jensen was eventually arrested and charged with aggravated assault. A judge found enough evidence for him to stand trial, but without notice, it was dismissed. Rufflin claims the prosecutor told the judge he didn't produce medical records by a certain deadline, yet the date on the email sent to the prosecutor shows it was well before that deadline. Rufflin met with Sim Gill during the DA's open door meetings with citizens. They're now reviewing the case. I'm going to have a screening that is going to be done by a group of attorneys who were not uh, uh, affiliated with the original prosecution. As a result, Jensen could still be facing charges. Because of the way the case was dismissed, prosecutors don't have to worry about double jeopardy, charging someone with the same crime twice. Rufflin's injuries have crippled him. He's now forced to use a walker and a service animal to survive. But I f absolutely feel re-victimized by this happening to me and this person is still now free on the street. Bottom line is that Tim Rufflin could still have his day in court. Now for more information on the DA's open door policy, visit our website abc4.com to learn how you can make an appointment. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.